Chris Lytle making his way to the world famous octagon. Chris Lytle is a former pro boxer with an iron jaw and a very exciting, aggressive style. What's amazing is that in every fight, he somehow finds a way to turn it into a toe-to-toe -to -toe slugfest. This guy finds himself in the fight of the night almost every time he gets in the cage. Chris Lytle fired up and ready to go. Murillo Bustamante set to enter the world famous octagon once again. Murillo Bustamante is one of the most respected jiu-jitsu fighters on the planet. He's a founder of the Brazilian top team and has fought some of the very best in the sport. He's got deadly submissions, great takedowns, and is very difficult to put away. Murillo Bustamante ready to throw down and put on a show. Tale of the Tick is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Indianapolis, Indiana, Chris Lights Out Lito. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighter. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall. Weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He is the former UFC middleweight champion, Murillo Bustamante. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohal. Okay, guys, you've both been given your rules. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Do you understand? Cuts gloves, let's come out fighting. Hi again, everybody. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. And we are ready for round one. Okay, Chris ready? Lytle. You ready? Murillo Bustamante. Round one is Let's underway. Fight. Caught the leg. Joe, the big kick, and he drops him. Yeah, he swept him with that leg kick. Side control. Big elbow. Okay, he moves into the mount here. Good job, hip escaping there. Moves to half. Back to full mount. Oh, he got reversed. He caught the kick. We've seen some guys get nailed with some vicious up kicks. Nice double leg. Half guard. Posture's up. Oh, he got reversed. He caught the leg. Quick hands. Under three minutes now. Oh, we got tagged with a hook. Push kick. Mixing things up nicely. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. Into the guard. Two minutes remains in round number one. He ain't that one. Oh! He's in full guard here. Great job on the reversal. Vicious ground and pound from the top here. Haymakers. You gotta fight for underhook. Total control from the top position. Put your right arm on his head. Punch his face. Work it now. 
And back to full guard. Back to side control. And he gets reversed. Great reverse. He's got the arm triangle. He's pressing down with his weight. It's oh, over. nice. The tap, the victory. Arm triangle. Submission tonight. We have a new UFC welterweight champion. Let's take a look at that again. See how he locks it in, Mike? He's pushing down with his neck and his shoulder, and on the other side, he's cutting off the blood to the brain with his arm. Beautiful technique here. From another angle. Beautiful technique here, and he gets the tap. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm triangle choke. And now, the new UFC welterweight champion of the world, Marilla Bustamante. Marilla Bustamante, victorious once again.